In this video, we'll show you how to build a custom panel extension for Directus Insights, which will pull data from an external data source and display it inside of the panel. Notice here that we are mounting an extensions volume, which will allow us to build and use extensions inside of our local project. So use this Docker Compose file and then run Docker Compose up. Navigate to your extensions directory and run npx create directus extension. This will use the directus extension CLI to boilerplate an extension on your behalf. Choose a bundle type. In order to access external data sources, we will need to create an endpoint. But ultimately, we want to create a panel and these two extensions will be bundled, hence creating a bundle for easier building and distribution cd into our new bundle directory and then run npm run add choose an endpoint and we're going to give it the name weather endpoint once boilerplated open index.js of the weather endpoint and replace the code with the provided code along with this video we're not going to spend too long explaining every line here, but in short, this endpoint is registered at the weather path. So when a user hits slash weather, we will go off and make an external API request, passing on any URL parameters, and then if successful, return the JSON to the user, a pure public API proxy. And of course, if there is an error, we will return the error. If you want to learn more, we'll also provide links to our documentation on building public API proxies, as well as proxies which are authenticated or permissions based. But for now, we are done with this extension. Run npm run build and then restart your Directus application. You can now navigate to slash weather and this external API expects a longitude and latitude value. So provide those and you'll see here data coming via the external API through our Directus custom endpoint extension and then to the user. Run npm run add again and this time we're going to build a panel. Call this one weather panel. Panels are made up of two parts, a configuration file, the index.js, and then a view component which uses that configuration and any user input to actually build an interactive panel. So here we're going to update the ID and the name of this panel, and we're going to update the options to accept the longitude and the latitude. We're going to make the width of each of these half so they sit side by side in the Directus Data Studio UI. Open panel.view and scroll down to the script section. Import use API from the Directus Extensions SDK and ref from the view library. Update our props, so remove text and instead we're going to use the longitude and latitude, which will then be sourced from the UI when configuring this panel. And then create a setup method. At the top of the setup, we're going to make use API available, as well as a weather ref, which will eventually contain data from the API. Then we will create a fetch data asynchronous function, which will go off and use our internal weather endpoint along with the longitude and latitude, and then take the response and make it available inside of the weather ref. We will then immediately call this function. The reason we're splitting this logic out into its own function is because you may later choose to rerun this function, perhaps when user input is provided. Return the weather data and then update your template to actually display that to the user. Navigate back to the data studio and to the insights module. Create a new dashboard and you should see your weather panel is available. The longitude and latitude options are visible, again, half width. So insert a value, we're just going to use zero, zero. And then once you save this, you will see your new panel with external data displayed. And of course, we can make this a little bit bigger to see that whole load of data. You can go ahead and pull out certain values, display this differently, or perhaps provide some form of user input. 
I hope you found this interesting. We have loads of guides on building extensions in our documentation. And if you need any help at all, feel free to join our Discord server. Bye for now.